Hello, this is Andrei and uh, I am going to talk about the week 8 and the week 9 of the Masters because we've just um, uh, started the holiday, today is the 8th of December and uh, we have finished the courses, so in the past two weeks were full of coursework and PhD applications and now we um, have uh, like officially finished and starting the holiday so I will also talk about what uh, we have to do for the holiday and how uh, I will tackle those things um, in the next few weeks but firstly let me start with what happened in the previous two weeks because I didn't post uh, separately and that's because they were very packed with a deadline almost every three days in the sense that we had a deadline for digital signal processing and um, we also had uh, very importantly the deadline for the PhD applications here at Cambridge um, we have submitted and that took a ton of time um, and on top of that there was a deadline for the PhD application at Stanford in the US and um, we also had a course for the probabilistic machine learning so the punchline is that the last weeks of the semester are very packed with tons of things to do and I looked uh, I'm tracking my time and uh, I looked uh, uh, how many hours uh, I worked in November and it was 260 hours without breaks and anything else included which leads to the fact that I believe that this semester is much um, harder than, than than the previous one for uh, th than the one which is coming for those of you who are interested in in coming to this masters and now that I finished um, I, I'm going to focus uh, in the holiday on solving what's uh, what's next for the other PhD applications in the US but most importantly and it's something which is worth mentioning is that for current Cambridge students, it's, it's important um, uh, to have uh, high grades uh, for the PhD application process. So the grades that we take in this semester influence uh, our application. And this means that uh, we need to aim for high grades. And over this holiday, um, in the courses that I'm taking, we have three projects. Um, I would call them research projects because we need to write a um, six to eight pages paper uh, on the projects and one of them uh, is in probabilistic machine learning and um, we have at least what I chose is to investigate uh, whether um, uh, convolution neural networks can also provide some uh, uncertainty boundary on of what it learned and um, to do that using some Gaussian processes so that's quite actually interesting. The other one is in uh, digital signal processing and I also have a project on image processing and each of these projects, the recommended time is about 40 hours to spend of them on which about like 15 should be um, writing the paper. But man, I doubt it's gonna take 40 hours because I think it's gonna be like 50, 55 hours each because there are still things to learn. It's not as if um, I managed to keep up with everything during the semester. So I definitely have to catch up with the last few weeks from the semesters. So that's gonna be about like 60 hours each. And on top of that, I want to start learning, um, doing a deep learning course because I don't want to start the next semester. Uh, my thesis is in deep learning and I don't want to start the next semester without, um, you know, being up to date with, uh, uh, the things in deep learning and on top of that for the probabilistic machine learning uh, project because um, I want to provide some uncertainty boundary for convolution neural network this means that um, I will work uh, with Bayesian statistics as well and so I'm reading now a book about Bayesian statistics and I want to read the first 250 pages from it and that will uh, take um, a while so I try to put those things uh, all together uh, for the holiday and um, uh, from my uh, you know for what I think it will take about 280 to 300 hours but I've um, put also the hours available during the holiday and it's about like 220 so 
some of those things um, will start to just drop because I can't physically do all of them and that's pretty much about the holiday um, it's also worth mentioning that the university recommends us the the, the student here to stay uh, over the holiday in Cambridge uh, but I'm gonna fly uh, 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 next week on the 17th back to Romania um, but as uh, my tutor here in Selwyn said uh, people don't know how it's the the holiday uh, here in Cambridge because it's not a holiday and uh, it doesn't feel like that that's pretty much about this masters one thing which um, becomes annoying after some time is that uh, because there are you know so many deadlines one after another um, it's hard to allow your mind to uh, go in other directions and think of other things and this um, this is annoying because I would like to you know spend some time reading uh, books which are non computer scientists but it doesn't allow us to do that um, uh, and we have to you know just just take care of the deadlines that we have now it's probably also worth mentioning that um, uh, for those of you who are coming to this master if you want to go into the industry after this masters uh, meaning you don't apply now for the phds um it's gonna be a bit less work in the sense that you don't have to apply to all those uh, uh you know phds uh, and things of that nature because i looked and we sp i spent 85 hours so far just um on the phd applications which is which is quite a bit considering that in the previous month I spent 100 hours on machine learning and 80 hours on digital signal processing. This PhD application is literally as much as doing one, one course and um, that's a decent amount of time. That's pretty much everything that I had to say and um, I hope that uh, this holiday is gonna be good. I'm excited to um, go home and uh, I hope to um, have everything done by the end of the holiday. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.